Amber Heard has getting called a lot of things recently, especially after fans noticed that the Aquaman star seems to have a tendency to recount her narrative differently and just make up an entirely new story when asked to comment about events she already testified on but at this point, everything is mere speculations. However, it seems like internet Sherlock's were able to locate more evidence to prove that there is a big chance that Amber was indeed lying when she accused her ex-husband of assaulting her, and by evidence, I mean the same penthouses that the ex-spouses lived together while the alleged domestic violence is on its peak. Remember Remember the first time that he physically hit you? Yes. Please tell the jury about it. <laughs> it was so, it's seemingly so stupid, so in, like insignificant. I will never forget it. It changed, it changed my life. I, I was sitting on the couch and we were talking, we were having a like a normal conversation, you know, just there was no fighting, no argument, nothing. And um, he was drinking and um, I didn't realize at the time, but I think he was using cocaine because it was like there was a jar, a jar. So what will these penthouses mean to Amber's chance of winning the case and how did these penthouses prove that her claims against Depp are nothing but a hoax? Okay, so this theory came about after fans noticed that Amber actually asked to be compensated through Penthouse 3 and Penthouse 5 in the initial divorce settlement she filed against Johnny. And aside from the fact that she will basically live in a penthouse owned by her alleged assaulter, it doesn't make any sense that she would be okay staying at the very same building where Depp will most likely be living after the case is over. Fans also pointed out other conditions from the settlement that are completely misplaced. Here's why, if we go over the document. The very first paragraph accuses Johnny of attacking and threatening Amber in their shared penthouse apartments. Amber's lawyer proceeded by claiming that this was not the first and the last time Depp got physical with Amber which means a lot of bad things happened in that place. Heard also testified a lot of time in court about what happened during the span of their marriage and based on her testimonies. They would quarrel at home most of the time, so speaking from this perspective a lot assumed that Heard would want nothing to do with those penthouses mainly because they hold so much traumatizing memory. It would be a blow up. And at first it was just to throw something, smash some things. Um, it loves to smash up a, a place, an apartment, furniture is what it started with. Um, glass, threw glass at me and I started to notice the pattern of escalation where he'd throw glass or turn over a table. Then he would hit the wall and then he'd hit the wall really close to my head. You know, like when I'm standing there, you know, just hit the wall screaming at me. It's also pretty common for victims of domestic violence to start anew. Some would move to another place or even cut ties with anyone involved. However, Amber did nothing of that and even asked that penthouses 3 and 5 be transferred to her ownership. Doesn't make sense, right? A fan shared her own experience to prove that what Amber was asking is pretty unusual for someone who claims she was attacked. The fan wrote, I left my apartment and moved to another state to get away from my assaulter. I left everything I had built during the four years I lived in Nashville. He had moved in with me. Everything was gone overnight, but I was safe. Another fan compared how Johnny reacts to the penthouse's situation with his ex-wife saying, Johnny couldn't even look at the building anymore. He wanted to sell the penthouses as soon as possible because she ruined the place for him. Amber's fans claim that the actress also wants to sell the penthouses and is not planning to live there. But the divorce settlement also states that Amber wants Johnny to pay for all the bills after the penthouses are transferred to her name. And so, if Amber doesn't plan on using these penthouses, why bother telling Johnny to pay the bills? This settlement condition also didn't back up Amber's prior statement that she wants nothing from Johnny. This and then there was a divorce settlement, you got $7 million. People were saying this is all about the money, but then you did something that uh, twisted that whole argument. What did you do with that money? Seven million dollars in total was donated to, I split it between the ACLU and Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. ACLU. And well, more power to you because that's, that's something that I've never heard I wanted of. nothing. Pointing out how Heard is literally contracting her statements. This fan wrote, also why ask for them in the car and whatever else if you wanted nothing. But also, you got way less than you deserve which is. The debate about Amber's explanations or the lack thereof continues and the court of social media is scrutinizing every word she says. How about you? Do you think this is enough to assume that Amber might be lying? Let us know in the comments below.